hi guys welcome back to the vlog it is monday and i think i'm gonna do a little week in my life few days in my life might even be one daily vlog i'm really unsure how long this is gonna be but i think i'm gonna do like a little weekly reset first things first it's monday i need to drop my mom off at the airport we had a lot of fun this weekend and i'm like kind of exhausted because I don't really do anything and I feel like when someone comes to visit we have such a like jam-packed week that by the time it's over I'm just like <laughs> I need to sit and do nothing for like a few days I need to go to the grocery store so I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's probably do a little grocery haul because those are just so fun to watch for me personally I like getting like inspo for recipes and snacks and stuff like that and honestly Trader Joe's is like always coming out with new snacks so I just like love seeing what's out there I'm gonna do that and then probably just like clean up the house do some laundry vacuum you know all of that exciting fun stuff I also need to work out later I don't know if I'm gonna go to this class or just go to Solage and do my own workout which is what I've been doing a lot more lately so that's my plan for the day let's get into it I just came over to my desk to like write my grocery list and look at what these boys do to me every single morning like they take up my chair <laughs> look at Ozki they take up my chair so that I have nowhere to sit and oh <laughs> okay what do you have the hiccups what's going on baby yeah they take up my chair so I have nowhere to sit and then I am left sitting in this corner do anyone else's dogs do that or is it just the weenies because it's been like this for a year and look Oscar's like falling asleep <laughs> he's like I'm not moving mom you are such a little teddy bear Oski I got the cutest new phone case it's from I it's from the most random brand it's called hold tight club unsure i think they're based in canada but it's so cute i love it and i like it because it's like clear hard silicone like all over and like it's just like a great case i don't know love anyways yeah it's 8 30 in the morning i've been up for like an hour <laughs> grocery shopping well kind of a lot because we were out of legit everything like my fridge is empty so let's start over here got some Persian cucumbers sugar snap peas some salad mix broccoli I love this dressing so much um, I just like even putting it on like carrots and like sugar snap peas as a snack it's just really good love these like veggie burgers carrots obsessed with this minestrone for lunch i just think it's so easy and yummy and good um cream cheese for ryan i got turkey breast and chicken breast for me because i hate turkey also how exciting is this plant-based baby bell not sure if it's going to be good or actually disgusting but i loved baby bell like not that i could ever really eat it but i went through moments of like childhood where like i was fine with dairy i was not fine we are still not okay with dairy, but I'm really excited to try these because I've been like wondering, waiting for something like this to come out and no one has ever come out with it. So I'm very excited about these. So we'll do a little taste test. Of course, got some mozzarella, mozzarella shreds. This is disgusting when it's not heated, but like when it's heated, it's okay. Maybe I'll do like some nachos or something. That's kind of how I use it because um, you need to heat it up and melt it. I got some cassava chips, pretty good um sourdough loaf um i am actually fine with sourdough now which is so exciting crazy i know because i was gluten-free like fully gluten-free for years but 
I'm actually fine with sourdough bread. I think it's because it has like probiotics in the way that it's fermented or something. It's easier on your stomach and I am good with sourdough, which is like the most exciting thing ever because I love sourdough bread. And after eating this for the last probably like six months, I can't even tell you how repulsed I am with gluten for bread. I think it's disgusting. I won't go back. So everything is on sourdough now for me and it's amazing. Um, I got some cashew yogurt, strawberry. Um, I got a bunch of like salad stuff, hearts of palm, artichoke hearts, obsessed with both. I got some corn because I love doing this like corn, black bean, tomato salad with some rice, wine, vinegar, and balsamic um, just for like lunch or even dinner and I'll add some chicken on it. Love that little spring summer salad I do. Um, this is the best dairy free creamer if you haven't tried it, get it. It's so freaking amazing. I got some decaf green tea. Um, milk for Ryan, half and half for Ryan. I got this. I'm gonna do a little like uh, trail mix and put it in a jar myself because these are kind of the only things I like in trail mix and I have peanuts up above so I'll add those in. I got some eggs and then some meat for dinner and then over here we have another situation we have I'm literally addicted to these. They're so yummy. Also addicted to these, which I probably told you guys a year ago, but I'm like so in love with anything that's like a fruit snack, a fruit leather, like anything fruit gummy. Like I'm just obsessed. It's a bad addiction. And then we got a big thing of strawberries, apricots, apples, bananas. So I'm gonna put this all away and kind of like organize the fridge a little bit because we have a lot going on here. Then we're gonna get to some cleaning of the house. just me but I would get so excited if I came home and saw this gorgeous spread of fruit also is anyone else a weirdo like me and like needs to eat their bananas when they're green because I hate hate nothing more than a like ripe yellow banana it is so disgusting to me and mushy and like it's so sweet also these apricots looked delish I wonder if I should be like soaking these apricots too or if it's like just berries but I feel like these are just fine with a little like fruit wash those will soak for like 15 to 20 minutes um, so yeah, I'm gonna set my timer and I'm also going to make my little trail mix situation right now. I'm gonna do some raw almonds, some dried pitted cherries. These are so good. I like them a lot better than like cranberries. I don't know, they just like the texture is more <laughs> like gummy-esque, which you know I love a gummy bear. So I got some cherries. They also taste better. They're like not as like weirdly fake sweet. I got some raw pecan halves and then I honestly just had these in my pantry because I made a Chinese chicken salad recently and I'm just gonna add these cause like why not? <music>
Drew does this every morning. <laughs> he sits on our bed and just looks out the window. It's so cute. He loves the grass out there. That's his favorite place to play. Hi, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you sitting on mom's pillow? Oh, you see the toys, huh? You're such a cutie, buddy. You're such a little cutie, but you can't lay on mom's pillow. Oh my goodness. You are the cutest boy on earth. Look at those bear paws, buddy. Look at that side profile. Oh my goodness. Rufus George. Are you... Oh my god, are you shivering because you want to go out there so bad? I think we need to go on a walk soon. We call it something else though, and I don't want to say it yet because you'll get too excited. Are you shivering with excitement, buddy? Oh my god, he wants to go out so bad. Little boy, we're going to go out soon, okay? I promise. We'll go hunting. Yeah, do you want to go hunting? <laughs> Yeah, I want to go hunting! going to use my Theraface. I got this a few months ago. It's like another like addition to my like shower, my like full shower routine. This stuff is my new holy grail. It's the Biosance Retinol Night Serum. I was really terrified to use a retinol because my skin is so sensitive, but I have not had a single issue using this product. Haven't gotten a rash, haven't broken out, haven't like no redness, no nothing. I usually do like two pumps and then I just put it everywhere. I just swear by this product. I love it. Probably let it cool for like a few minutes. I should have bought another bottle during the Sephora sale, but I like just got it a few months ago and I don't really need to. I also use this every other night because I'm like, A, I was scared to use it at first. So I was like, oh, I'll just use it every other night. But now I'm like, I need to preserve her. But I might start using it every night because I feel like my skin can handle it. And I know it's really gentle. So I love this product. The next product I go in with is just the Outset uh, Squalene Daily Moisturizer. I love this brand so much. I also use their cleanser. I had their serum, but I ran out of their serum. But this brand is super gentle. Again, like no reaction, no breakout, no nothing. My best friend actually used to work in the luxury skincare um, side of Sephora, like corporate. And so she got amazing products like Augustinus Bader and like Dr. Barbara Sturm and she gave me a lot of products. This was one of them and I am just so obsessed with this stuff. So that's my first moisturizer. My skin is very dry. So I actually go in with two and my other one is very heavy and it's affordable and everyone probably loves this moisturizer, but it's the Vanna Cream Moisturizing Cream for Sensitive Skin. I use this, I use their cleanser. I need to buy their lotion too because this is very thick and usually I mix this with a face oil but I actually ran out of my face oil. Um, so I'm just using this alone and it is very thick but I really love this whole brand. It's amazing, this. The last step for my nighttime skincare is the Biosense 
squalene marine algae eye cream i literally can't say that word a lot of people are like weird about eye cream they're like you don't need it but i feel like my eyes get very dry and i just like having a little bit of extra moisture around them actually my final last step is aquaphor i lied this is the best to use on my lips my lips are also very sensitive which sounds so weird but i've tried a lot of different lip products and most of them i'd say like 75 percent of them make my lips on the sides crack and i know it's a form of like dermatitis and i know i'm allergic to like a certain ingredient but i just don't know what it is i have tried researching it i've tried comparing ingredient lists from like ones i can use versus ones i can't use the only ingredient i can find that like is not matching up is like a sunscreen ingredient which is in my sunscreen i use every day so i don't know what the issue is the only lip products i can use that i've tried so many besides this are summer fridays and road i've tried so many other brands every time it does that to my lips and it's so freaking annoying but anyways, this is the final result. We are very glowy and a little tan because we were in the sun. Really nothing better than feeling all fresh and hydrated after a day in the sun.